ones and zeros finally out today. How are you feeling now? It's kind of out there. Very excited. I can't actually believe it. Yeah, it's been such a long time. Like it's been what well, we've been sitting on this album for like the past, I guess, cut past year, I guess. And so we're we've slowly been releasing kind of new music prior to this date, and that's been exciting just to see like the reaction from everyone from all the singles. So today's come and it's a very busy day, like it's been pretty hectic, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's nice to uh, release the album on and play the show in London as well, obviously be here, the HMV doing the acoustic stuff, which is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a really good day, it's going to be, like so I said, hectic, but it's, uh, it's just, it just feels packed. so good and seeing the CDs downstairs and the vinyls, like that's actually, like a, that was a massive thing for me, it definitely yeah. it's like, oh yeah, it's actually out, you know, it's so hard to actually take it in, you know. Because it's been about a year since you first released the first single off this album, and there have yeah. been quite a lot of changes into it, you've got a new label, you've got a new producer for this album. Yeah. Has that kind of affected, does, does that mean you've had to hold back some of the songs from your live sets and stuff like that? A little bit. I yeah, think, we've I been think... sitting on a few of them, haven't we? We played like, what, I think two last year, at the yeah. end of last summer, some festivals, and, but, and we always wanted to play more, but it's kind of feel like we have to just wait, you know, wait it out until the album's out there. Yeah, it's cool yeah. though because like you can see like we've been putting it in a set and seeing all like the reaction from all the fans and and getting the feedback from like all the songs has been kind of useful for us as well. Kind of deciding. Yeah, the new stuff's been getting so. better even before the actual mm -hmm. album's out. So yeah, yeah, we're just very excited for it to uh, hopefully you know keep growing now. There's some talk about you going for a more danceable sound with this album. Did that kind of was that what you were after with Steve Osborne? Is that right? Well, it's definitely. I think I think the whole kind of. What what we were trying to go for was just a bit more of a refined rhythm sound, like in, in the entire album, and I guess Steve has definitely kind of ticked all the boxes for us in yeah. in, in in a lot of aspects, mm. let alone just the rhythm. Um, but there's certainly like a, a focus on the rhythm, like kind of scaling a bit back on the kind of intensity of like this wall of noise that we were kind of used to before, and so it's all about the grooves. And it's all about the grooves, yeah. yeah. Like there's some songs that we really focused on on simply just like the drum beat or it could be like a guitar melody and just kind of focusing it, like making it a bit more simple really, kind of drawing it back and, and making it a little bit more dancey and a bit more rhythm based. Yeah, yeah I, so. think, I think it's also that like we, you know, we take a lot of inspiration of what we listen to at the time and um, you know, I think the last sort of couple of years definitely we've been listening to a lot more kind of poppier stuff as well, you know, as well as the heavy rock and you know, we've always had quite a wide range I think, but especially Every time, day before we go on stage now, we listen to like Taylor Swift and stuff. <laughs> Shouldn't really admit it. We're happy with that. Yeah, so yeah, I guess that fine. does kind of rub off, you know, yeah. your writing. Because we write music to please ourselves, you know. And, uh, I, yeah, I guess it's but kind of like, you know, especially when we're, in, when we're getting inspiration for this album, we're just listening to like the music that we grew up listening to as well as like new music as well. So, I mean, we were, we were all 80s kids. We grew up in the 80s. And so, like, you know, we love 80s pop, love 80s rock. Um, and, and we listen to all kinds of music. So... Just had that. That was a kind of big influence for us, I guess. And you did the Kerrang tour earlier on this year. I wanted to ask you what that's like as an experience, and what had the touring plans you've got? Any record you had? Um, the Kerrang tour was fun. It was, yeah. it was a last Short minute thing, wasn't it? Amazing. Because we um, we were asked kind of last minute to do is is all, is all promoting the album and everything else, and so we wanted to do something different. And they said, well, why don't you come inside and actually play like three songs? And so we, the first time ever, we actually had a set that was only three songs. Yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> the fact that we've been away for so long, we didn't want to come back and do like a big headline tour straight away. We wanted to kind of sneak our way back in, and, and that's where we're coming, trying to think of a few ideas. And the crank thing was perfect, you know, it was like, come play three songs, and if people get annoyed and want to hear more, and they want to come to the next tour, and that thing felt like that worked. And it was weird because we were definitely a talking point. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and it, and it was kind of unusual because it usually takes two or three songs to really get into the set, get sweating, get ready, you know, and then it's like you're off stage. Yeah. Um, so that it was, was quite nice, though, in some ways because yeah. we were just. Uh, it's probably the easiest tour we've ever done. Definitely yeah, the easiest yeah, tour yeah, that we definitely. did. Definitely. Yeah, so I guess we finish up with this tour in uh, in a couple of days in Sheffield, mm -hmm. uh, and then we play Download. Yeah. Festival, uh, and then we go back to America and do three weeks with a band called Three Days Grace. Which would be cool, going to see, see some new places, uh, and then we come back, do a bunch of festivals. We do a bunch of festivals, do yeah. tea in the park, so two thousand and cheesy. Yeah. Why not? Why not festival? Yeah. Why not festival? Yeah. And then we're just sort of planning some uh, sort of festival. We're doing a few stuff abroad as well, Taiwan and Poland and stuff, and then just planning some tours now towards the end of the summer and. Uh, yeah, keep going. So uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely we're not going to be uh, disappearing from the the UK like like we did like before. before yeah. yeah. <laughs>